Hello and welcome to my Tarot Corner. Uh, I want to emphasize that English is not my first language. Sometimes I get stuck, sometimes I do say uh, a lot because I get stuck with words. But uh, if it's too difficult for you to listen, then uh, you don't have to. But uh, I would love you to bear with me and stay. So, uh, anyway, um, this is a request that I got uh, from someone on email, and uh, I was asked to look into Caroline Durand and Omid Scoby, and do they feel shame, do they feel guilty about the lies that they wrote about Samantha Markle and many other lies that they wrote in their book, Funding Freedom. So, as A.G. Tudor likes to call it. So, I decided to do, uh, a, um, it's, it's a combination between two uh, spreads. Uh, one that is about guilt and the other that is about shame. And I'm just going to combine those two and... Then uh, I will take a spirit message for both of them and see what spirit has to say about this for Caroline and for Ahmed. So, and, and yesterday in my uh, video, I did see that uh, Omid Scobie, despite his wish not to be to testify, it looks like he will be called to testify. So this is the Spellcaster Tarot, a very beautiful uh, Rider weight clone that is more of photographs and uh, it's very, very beautiful. So I'm starting with clearing the deck. And now I'm going to ask, so Omid Scoby and Caroline Durand, do they feel guilty? Do they feel shame about putting in so many lies in their book, Finding Freedom? Caroline Durand and Omid Scoby's energy, do they feel guilty? Do they feel shame? How does this affect their lives? Okay, so the first card is, I'm going to take a card for Omid and a card for Caroline asking, is, are they true to themselves? So the first card going to be about Caroline and we get the Knight of Wands. So first of all, the Knight of Wands is a yes card. So Caroline Durand did feel that she is true to herself. She didn't know that she was writing lies. The Knight of Wands is the aloof knight. It is a knight that misses opportunities because he is not getting excited. So it looks like Caroline Durand was not very excited about writing that book. She uh, was misled. She thought she was writing the truth. She didn't know she was writing uh, lies. Uh, she was misled, but she wasn't very enthusiastic about it. And this is why she did not participate in the, um, uh, on all of the, uh, uh, interviews that uh, Omid Scobi made in order to promote the book. She did not participate in the promotion of the book. She didn't feel very good about this because she is true to herself. And let's see what do we see around Omid Scobi. And we get the Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Cups is a card of illusions. This is a card of dreams. And dreams that uh, uh, Omid for, uh, thought that they should uh, come true. So Omid Scobie uh, is uh, 
fantasizer. He was trying to do whatever he can in order to uh, get into Megan's uh, good side. He felt that he is betting on the winning horse. And uh, this card is sometimes called the gaslighting card. So it doesn't look like Omid uh, is true to himself. It looks like he is a, a dreamer. He thought that he, or a fantasizer, he thought that he can... Um, uh, get something out of uh, writing all of those lies. Uh, this is a, a, a person that actually believes his own lies. Uh, he is um, believing uh, in all of those uh, things that he's saying, uh, but he's running away from reality and uh, he's in a way, naive, because he thinks that uh, those dreams can come true. But actually, uh, he knew that he was uh, lying. He was lying to the, the world. He was lying to himself. So this is a self-deceiving card, as well as deceiving Caroline Durand. So he was participating in uh, deceiving Caroline. He was not truthful, okay? And the next card is, what is Caroline avoiding? What is she avoiding? And we get the King of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles, as I said many times, he is the general manager. But when we get it in the uh, place of avoiding him, then we look at the negative aspects of, of him. So she's avoiding uh, the... Uh, bigotry, she's avoiding the uh, um, hardship and the sacrifices that this book uh, has uh, made her. She's avoiding uh, the stubbornness and uh, the over-materialistic uh, way that the Harkles are uh, acting. She was trying to avoid the truth. She was trying to avoid uh, what she knew was wrong in what she was writing and she was trying to avoid this and this is exactly what this is a card of someone who is workaholic someone who is very good in working but also very stubborn but she was avoiding those uh, things and she was trying to deceive even herself Okay, so what is Omid Scobie avoiding? And we get the Queen of Swords. Okay, so the Queen of Swords is a card that uh, Megan would love to be uh, seen as, uh, the idealistic person. And, uh, th and because we are talking about avoidance, we are looking at the negative aspects of this card. So... Uh, Omid Scobie is avoiding the uh, ideal, ideals, he's avoiding the uh, fact that you need to sacrifice things in order to say the truth. He's avoiding that uh, Meghan Markle is not the idealistic person that she is trying to uh, show everyone. He's avoiding the truth. And Swords card is also a card of communication. It is a card of uh, tell, uh, uh, talks. And uh, it is sometimes a card of people that are slicked tongue and lying. So uh, especially when we're talking about the page of cup of swords, but it can uh, be true to all swords uh, uh, court cards. So this is what he is avoiding. Okay, so the next card is how is Caroline Durand separating herself from others and we get the queen of cups okay so the queen of cups is a very emotional 
person. And once again, because we're talking about her separating herself from others, we see, uh, we look at the negative aspects of this card because the positive aspects of the Queen of Cups is that she's an adventurer, that she's someone who can face changes, uh, but the negative aspects of it is that she's unstable and that she has a, a lot of problems. This is someone who is uh, cheating, uh, tending into to get into uh, addictions, obsessive, and sometimes even revengeful. But it looks like uh, Caroline Durant is very, very emotional around learning that she uh, wrote a lot of lies. She feels uh, very bad about that, and she is uh, uh, separating herself from uh, from the community, from people. She is hiding in a way because she is, uh, this is like a mental health uh, problems and uh, instability. So this is why she is hiding away. This is how she is separating herself from others. And how, what is Omid Scobie doing? So Omid Scobie is the Ten of Swords. Okay, so the Ten of Swords is a, a, the energy of a storm that has could have gone away. I mean, like the storm has already passed. And if the storm has already passed, then you can see uh, the sun coming up. But in this card, the sun is not coming up. This person is rock bottom and you can see the wolves are coming to see him. So this is someone who is in this rock bottom place, completely, completely uh, devastated. Uh, this is someone who has gone through all of this, uh, the storm and the storm is still going through. So right now, Omid Kobe is trying to protect himself and separating himself and is not coming out in a... Uh, interviews and stuff like that because he is uh, conducting out of feeling danger and out of this survival instinct. But this is a card of destruction. This is a card of disease, pessimism, difficulty to rehabilitate and uh, problems from the past that are coming to get him. So this is uh, how uh, Omid Scobie is feeling right now. He is feeling the storm and he is scared to death from being called to the stand and to being uh, and ha to have to um, testify uh, in that court case. So this is how Omid Scobie is feeling right now. Okay, so the next card is um, what is um, what is Caroline hiding uh, out of shame or out of fear? What is she hiding even from herself? And we get the Two of Swords. Okay, so the Two of Swords is a card of someone who is completely disengaged from reality. Now here, we don't see that because this woman is not with her eyes closed as it is in the Rider Waite, but this is a card of someone who has completely disengaged from reality as and unable to cope. And this is what Caroline Durand is even hiding from herself. This is a card of depression. This is a card of reluctance to face problems uh, and overlooking facts. And this is something that she is trying, she is even she has even a hard time to admit to herself that she overlooked fact, uh, facts, that she didn't check facts like she had to. This is a card of someone who has 
problem to handle things. Uh, someone who thinks that things will just pass if they uh, close their eyes and let uh, the universe take its course. But he's completely, she's completely passive. This is procrastination. She's running away from reality. So this is how Caroline Durand, this is what she's hiding from herself even. And let's see what we can find about Omid Scoby, and we get the three of wands. So, uh, Omid Scoby is, in a way, trying to think that he will get some kind of cooperation from uh, Meghan uh, and Harry in this all all of this storm that he's getting that he's going through. But because uh, this is negatively aspected, uh, because this is in a place of hiding uh, from himself, so this is a negative. Uh, we look at the negative aspects of the card. We see someone who is arrogant, someone with extra ego and extra self confidence, someone who runs forward without checking someone who is reluctant to listen to others. So this is what Obi Scoby is hiding from the public and from himself. He doesn't want even to believe to him, but by himself that he is so arrogant, that he is so uh, egotistical, that he has this tendency to run forward and reluctant to listen to others. So this is what he is hiding from himself. And what can we see? How does guilt um, affect Caroline Durand? And the fact that, and what we got, get here is the four of wands. So this is another positive card that card that we are looking at the negative aspects because this is how guilt affected her. And we had quite a lot of negative uh, cards here to that it, this card is negatively aspected. So this card shows us impatience, not ans not being satisfied. Uh, this is someone who is has difficulty to deal with reality and difficulty to deal with new beginnings. She knows that she's right now in a place that she has to start over. She, start, she has to try to reinvent herself as, and the guilt is not letting her to uh, uh, the ability or not giving her the ability to start from fresh, to start a new beginning. This, she's impatient. She wants things to go over. She wants everything to just go away, but she's unable to do that. So this is how guilt uh, um, affects her. And how does guilt affect Omid Scobie? And we get the Ten of Cups. So once again, this is a great card of a wish that comes true. But we are looking here at the negative aspects of this card because we're talking about guilt and how does guilt uh, uh, affect him. So he would have loved that all of his wishes come true. Uh, he tries to get back into the fold of the Sussexes all the time. Uh, so he has a problem to accept that in life, not, not everything is perfect. And uh, he has a tendency to sacrifice himself even to get into Megan's best side. Uh, he is angry because uh, uh, he is not expressing or not, uh, his anger is not expressed and he's not released. So he feels that anger because he was uh, in a way uh, even shunned by the Sussexes, but he's not expressing his anger. He's not expressing his um, his uh, frustrations uh, because he still wishes to get everything uh, good in, with the Sussexes. He wishes to see his uh, his um, dreams come true, and I wouldn't put past him that if he is, got, uh, if he is uh, being called uh, to court 
uh, that he will uh, lie, that he will perjure himself just to stay on Megan's best side. But he wants his wishes to come true, and he feels very, very, um, let's say, uh, he feels uh, very. Di it's very difficult for him to f to accept that uh, not everything is uh, coming up the way that he wants it. So this is the readings. This is the tarot reading about Caroline Durant and Omid Scobie. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a spirit message, uh, one card for each. So let's see what does Spirit has to say to Caroline Durand and Omid Scobie. Okay, so. I'm clearing the deck. Okay, Spirit message for Caroline Durand and Omid Scobie. Spirit message for Caroline Durand and Omid Scobie. Spirit message for Caroline Durand and Omid Scobie. So the first card will be for Caroline. Now let's see what we get. And this is memories. Your memories are like diamonds in the treasure chest of your spirit. So, um, I would say that she has to harness her memories, her feelings of past love, of happier moments in the past in order to uh, get past this storm, in order to get past this uh, uh, bad, uh, bad um how do you say that? Bad period of time that she's going through. So she needs to harness the memories of better times in order to cope. And let's see what we, do we get for Omid Scobi. Embrace the moment. So this is really uh, funny because this card actually tells him embrace the moment. So because you won't have any better moments than right now. Uh, just... This is like something that you have now, but if you go and perjure yourself, you might even end up in jail. So uh, this is like the best place that you can be right now. And it, from here on, it, it will just go downwards. You will just go down the hill. So embrace the moment right now embrace the what you had with megan and harry you will not have it again so this is it for this reading i hope you liked it and if you did please like subscribe hit the notification bell leave me a comment and i'll see you in the next one bye